Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave, right? So first of all, the expectation was bullishness because of the data as well as the charts, especially the data indicated bullishness. So market, although GIF Nifty indicated a huge gap up, but that did not happen. It was very much flat today and uh, it was volatile in the first few hours like uh, i mean at least for one one and a half hour it made alternative red and green candles more or less right so it was kind of volatile in this area after that slow and steadily it went upside right however uh, it did not break any of the e supports or anything it was just to remove the bears this bearish candle formed and immediately there was a pullback and uh, the bullish candles the bulls countered this bears and market went up right so more or less a bullish day even if we see the daily charts it is again a good, good bullish candle on nifty in case of bank nifty although the expectation was it would easily hit 48000 sorry it would easily hit 48000 but it went till 47909 i think 47880 was the resistance that i had drawn yesterday yeah i think it's here so this was the level same level as I had drawn yesterday, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times or 10 times. 10 times it acted as the resistance and could not give a single closing above 47,882. So that's exactly how you draw important resistance and support side. Right? 10 candles could not close at exact 47,882, 883, right? So that is the importance of candles and also supports. I just realized now. So yeah this is today's candle only both of these right so 47602 uh, it has acted as the support okay i'm not sure if i drawn the support yesterday but the resistance is same levels as yesterday now without much uh, discussion about today since it was a bullish expectation it has formed a bullish candle here as well now going on to the analysis for tomorrow but before that there was one post yesterday i think around 2 a.m right uh, I was awake i was doing some analysis on participants data mm, so it's not something new for me whenever i want to study data, data i sit several hours together so that it gives me some good ideas so this six percent up move i have mentioned right so i'll make a separate video on this i'll not talk too much about it but in case you missed please check out this community post as well there is one doubt i have uh, whether this six percent move has already started or is it about to start so that clarification i'm trying to get so maybe in one or two days i'll post a video around that and another important post is 22 310 to 22 320 will act as the resistance that we will see in our analysis now right so starting with the data sorry let me open data first so index futures addition of longs by retailers so it is bearish FIS have further added 40,000 index future shots. So that is bearish. This number is becoming huge. So two days ago it was 1,58. Suddenly they have gone to 2,13,000. 60,000 index futures are shots are added. However, again, as I said, that 6% up move, I'm a little uh, till pending analysis whether the move has already started. I will give you more clarity on that, right? For now, we'll consider this bearish on index futures but we will see the options which are important for us for tomorrow and uh, index calls retailers have moved from call longs to call shots so it is bullish FIs have added huge call longs so bullish pros have added call shots so bearish two out of three are indicating bullishness in case of puts retailers have added put shots so that is bearish FIs have added put longs so bearish but uh, pros have reduced their put long so that is bullish so it is indicating uh, bearishness two out of three are indicating bearishness so index call side is indicating bullishness index put side is indicating bearishness so we can expect a double sided momentum tomorrow right it means in case of a big gap up then it will come down and uh, if it is opening flat then it will be again once again a sideways or a volatile they can be expected right now we will see the remaining things on chart and figure out what are the important things for tomorrow. Yeah, before I show you 15 minutes chart. So as I said, this is a fall. This is a pullback. So it has to form one red candle 
and then if it breaks it will be a very good bullish momentum which we can easily capture otherwise if it keeps on going uh, it's a little riskier to enter a bullish trade because again it cannot form consecutive green candles it will be hard to trade one pullback is required like not pullback one red candle is required on both the charts right nifty and bank nifty then only we will consider this bullishness crucial support will be anything below this level 47400 is going to be super bearish again in case of nifty anything below 21950 will be very bearish right now going on to the 15 minutes chart yeah so for tomorrow 22185 yesterday it acted as the resistance level so today it is the support level for us so anywhere between 22 320 and 22 366 right exactly these 40 points if there is a negative candle especially by opening a gap up in this area i will look for a short trade right and my target will be um, close to the today's closing which is 22 224 or at least 22 260 will be the target at least 22 260 right Mm, so that is one possible trade that I would look for and in case it is breaking 22185 then it can go uh, down and take a support at 22130. So bearish trade here is not very much preferable. Uh, it should open gap up then it will give a good bullish trade right and in case of bank nifty if you want to mark down these supports you can mark down. So this is the key resistance area about 22366 we can see 22. 500 directly but i think there will be a stiff resistance around this area right and bank 50 it has to give a one candle closing above 47 880 47 900 the 20 points level and then it will very likely go to 48 150 to 48 200 this 50 points range could be the target in case it opens here directly then here also we can expect a short trade right another important thing i observed on data is that uh, somewhere I get a feel since FIs have added both call longs and put longs, it is giving me a hint that one of the indices is going to uh, do better than the other. It is like either Nifty will do better than Bank Nifty or Bank Nifty will do better than Nifty uh, in terms of percentages, right? Uh, that is the expectation for tomorrow since tomorrow is Bank Nifty expiry. Trade very cautiously since it is already in a very tight range here. Uh, it has formed several candles. In case it holds for another one two hours in the morning, then whenever it gives a breakout, it will be a good bullish momentum. In case of breakdown, that will also be very good. Since these are too many consolidation candles, so we can expect some kind of a trending in second half of Bank Nifty, right? So yeah, important things. This is the resistance, right? Uh, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please do like, share, and comment. Thank you all.